Hey there, guys. I figured some uh, additional embarrassment is up for grabs. Uh, here is the the Reddit build. All right, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how Catalyst can basically make a build look good, even though it's really bad. So uh, I, I've kept the build exactly the same, except that we're not gonna use potions. So we'll just go fight this level 22 Koshai because my repeaters are already uh, level 20. Plus, like my gear is more power surge than his, so. Technically, I've got additional resistances, but let's go see how this build functions in an actual fight. Keep in mind that you've got no self-sustain, so you take a hit like that, that's half your hit points gone. Now, of course, you should be able to discipline your way through these maneuvers. Now, for the sake of fairness, I'm just going to use the salvo. Oh, dear. So, if you're not if you're not careful and you don't play, like, perfectly, all right? you're done for you get a bad reload like that you're done for now even if you were to, to revive you've only you only revive with uh, about half your health or rather you revive with less health than normal because of discipline discipline's lower healing see one bad reload is all it takes and you're down all right and you've got no self-sustain so unless you're playing in a team where you are not the primary damage dealer, this build will absolutely fail you. And even if you get a part break, there's no benefit to it. There are several behemoths, much like the Koshai, that in a solo situation, you have no way of staggering them. All right, let's, let's drink some health potions. I'm gonna remove Catalyst here because the only reason they need you to use Catalyst is to keep you playing the game. Either to farm materials, just so you can use Catalyst or whatever else. You don't actually need any of this. Wait till I show you how it goes with the uh, with the actual Asian robot build later. The easy version. You might not have an interrupt, but your life is just so much easier. That's something a lot of people need to take into account. Because one hit, even a tiny hit that doesn't deal a lot of damage, that's your predator bonus gone for about 15 seconds. Alright? So unless you're telling me that you're going to play perfectly flawlessly every single time, all right, you are going to struggle. And you see, without Pulse to pair with your... Uh, Hellion UE, you just end up doing like some really lackluster damage. So again, if these people are saying, if you need help with builds, I got you. Uh, I very much worry for the sake of uh, whoever listens to them because they do not have you. They do not have you. They've got nothing. You're about, I'm about to use up all three stims here. There you go. That's it. Quest over. All right. Now let's reload and try again. This time we're gonna we're gonna swap over. All right, so we're gonna use my easy build instead. I'll just show you how much smoother the fight is. Okay, so we're gonna just go to the hunting grounds. Blaze works again, and you know much much as before. All right, I've, I'm I'm not even putting in the lantern cells because we're gonna we're gonna uh, do it like we're gonna make it an equivalent test. Okay, so they don't have catalyst. Fine, I will not use my lantern cells. Like, I would not use Etheric Attunement, Zeal, all that other stuff, because otherwise it wouldn't be a fair fight, it wouldn't be a fair test. Because I know that these morons will complain that, oh, he used his Lantern Cells, that's why his looks better. He didn't even use Potions of Catalyst. Yeah, fuck you. And fuck everything you stand for. Catalyst is only necessary in Trials. Now, if you want to use it and you have hundreds of potions, by all means, go ahead and use it, man. Nobody's going to care. But the issue that I have is when... You know, bad builders, morons seeking attention, idiots try to show people that, oh, you need Catalyst for a good build. No, you do not. No, you do not. All right. It's a little bit stronger, but we'll go to it. Like, that build couldn't even handle a level. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just fight the level 24 Koshai. Fuck it. I've got confidence in my build. I was going to go to the Spore Struck Charog, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So you can use the... Uh, keep in mind that you can use the... Um, lantern as both an evasion as well as an actual attack but the core of this build comes from your tempest all right the increased attack speed is very beneficial to you 
in addition to the fact that every dodge you do all right you dodge to an attack bada bing bada boom you're gonna deal additional part damage all right it's not much considering this is blaze works but you know that's that's how it is all right fight will go a lot smoother okay you take some damage yep you're gonna lose predator but you can life steal it back in an instant and you're pretty much all, already good to go all right you get your tempest you get an additional attack right there so discipline is great don't get me wrong i love discipline but there's time and place for everything okay Now you're gonna need Assassin's Frenzy in order to actually, in order to actually uh, get the benefit. You need to you need to break apart, but that can be tough to do, especially with a creature that's four levels above you in the Blaze Works. But the thing is, don't panic because well, that's what your Tempest and your Koshai's is for. It's here to help you do all that. Now, I do have to say, I am using a slightly different, uh, um, what you call it? I am using a slightly different, uh, special, because I have no idea what special he was using, so I just went with full bore, which is pretty standard. Marksman Chamber is mostly in trial, so I, was, so I assumed he was going to use full bore there. But that, diff that doesn't make much of a difference. As you can see, we haven't gone down once. The additional hit points... And the lifesteal will just keep us sustained with absolutely no difficulty. And we can very safely target parts here. Now, once we get a part break, we get yet another additional 15% uh, move uh, attack speed, sorry. And that is very, very helpful. And another part break extends the duration again. So then we just go ham round two. See right there still at full health and keep in mind that our damage output as shown by the testing is much better all without potions so this is where this is where all these reddit people they go wrong because they think that due to the, the people they're following being the top one top two in trials yes those things work in fucking trials because in trials you fight one behemoth here you might end up fighting multiples you see that's where the key difference is you don't do trial stuff in non-trial activities trial builds are strong obviously they're designed to dish out maximum output but they are designed to uh, to like the specific behemoth you see that's something that a lot of people forget about trial builds they're not designed in general they're designed for that particular behemoth and that's where a lot of the um I guess struggle comes in because a lot of players are like oh well well this build did so well in trials why is it doing shit here well my friend it's because trials are trials this is this is just normal hunting bro it's different people can argue till the cows come home it is different all right like I said even if you sustain damage there is absolutely no danger all right And it's dead. There you go. So level 24 Koshai eliminated. Whereas with the other build, you take one bad hit, you're done for. You're done for. Okay? So please, ladies and gents, if you want to um if you want to actually get good at the game, please utilize the builds on the channel. They are prepared for slayers to do well. In combat, they are prepared for slayers to actually be able to do everything they need to. You want to play flawless i've got the guide for that as well but please pay attention to the fact that flawless is for players who really want to speed level and you've already got your end game stuff you've mastered every behemoth pattern then you play flawless together with potions mostly because you're bored and got nothing better to do you can smoke behemoths in seconds it, it's 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 quite fantastic and it's quite awesome to feel that but realistically speaking um and this is just me being honest you will not do well at all if you uh 
try to play flawless when you're not even at that skill level all right so thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know uh well for the donald's reddit i hope you enjoy being embarrassed uh thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe um if you guys like my content as always you want to see more of my content you can join as a channel member drop a tip via the link in the description of the video you can send super thanks on youtube thank you very much the more you send the more streams the more content i can make see you guys on the next one oh and before we go you know what's coming i have to give my thanks to all the lovely members that we have on this channel thank you very much to everybody making this possible right now our top tier members death donning 982 at plus ultra we've got miss eve stephen martin jerry fast joshua moritz rogue assassin old mr green buff death donning 982 zach nfg sorry not death donning 982 he's plus ultra uh old mr green buff zach nfg all of prestige thank you guys very much here are our, our thank yous for the honor robots marion whiffling jacob gabrick jammer boy turtle dove bob john nate great curtis shustler mj riffle Shadow, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, Anarchy Inc., Greasy Burger, Stefan Geyer, Killer Team Gaming, and Coda CMF. You guys have been absolutely fantastic, and thank you to all of our cool bots as well. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? I'll stay happy.